This video is about the 5 degree of freedom robotic arm that I built. So this is the arm that I built. It's primarily made just to show off the capability of the DMC1 CNC and what kind of parts you can expect to make on the machine. All of the parts on the arm are of course machined on the DMC1 CNC other than things like the motors, the bearings, the gears, the bolts, and so on. So the arm is built to loosely follow the constraints of the University Rover Competition. This is a competition where universities are tasked with building a Mars rover to compete in a series of tasks at the Mars Desert Research Station in Utah. These tasks are things such as navigating harsh terrain autonomously, locating objects and retrieving them for delivery, or collecting soil samples to perform life detection analysis. Since I'm originally from the Ryerson Rams Robotics team, I'm now sponsoring their machine components and thought it would be cool to build an arm that fits onto the rover to follow competition requirements, even though they already have their own which they'll be using for competition. This rover here is for the 2019 competition and you'll see a few videos coming up about parts I make for the rover team, such as all of the rare linkages or intricate arm components. So in competition, the rover arm itself needs to be able to pick up small objects and tools and deliver them somewhere not too close by within an hour time frame, as well as interact with various switches, buttons, knobs, keyboards, and other things about one meter high off the ground. For that reason, I made my arm able to reach about 16 inches below its base to the ground and 16 inches above to reach the highest objects, and then fold up compactly with its stepper motors holding position for rough driving conditions. For testing this arm, I have an Arduino controlling two stepper drivers and a motor controller to move the arm joints and gripper. For now, I have two buttons to control the direction of each motor when they are pressed, with a pretty crude Arduino code. There's no acceleration for the steppers, which is not optimal for performance, but I really just want to test the mechanical movement to prove that I have a capable CNC rather than optimize the code for a smoother arm. So mounting the arm onto the rover would look something like this. And simulating a common task, here is the arm delivering a tool. In competition, it would have had to pick up the tool somewhere and deliver it at probably about 50 meters away through harsh desert terrain. So let's take a closer look at how the arm works. Looking at the arm CAD, we can see how it's all put together. Starting from the base, the shoulder joint is actually a turntable bearing off of Amazon and that's the only sort of structural part that wasn't machined on the DMC-1 CNC. The lower arm segment is two quarter inch thick plates attached with standoffs and it houses the tensioner for the upper arm segment. I have a separate video walking through exactly how this particular plate was made, so look out for that coming soon. The tensioner here is really cool. It's actually a little clip onto the end of a cut belt that gets pulled by a bolt held in place by this plug. It's extremely small and lightweight and very effective, just a little bit more tricky to assemble and it's totally hidden away within the arm so everything looks clean. The gripper end will have its own video coming soon since that was the most difficult and intricate piece to machine on this entire arm. It consists of a block that houses four identical fingers and it's mounted with a shaft collar which is from McMaster Car. So now what I really want to talk about is price. Let's say you want to make this exact robotic arm for whatever reason, whether it's for fun or you're actually doing some kind of serious prototyping or even a final product for a customer. How much would it cost you? The quickest way to find out generally how much anything manufactured would cost is this website called exometry.com. They are awesome for instant quotes. You upload a file, select what material and type of manufacturing you need, and it spits out a price that's pretty much spot on to what other local job shops quote. So let's take the entire arm and upload all the components that I machined to make it. Fill out the correct parameters, and there's the price. Over $3,500. That's insane, and yes, those prices are regular for machine components like this, but here's the point I'm trying to make. A relatively small project like this can easily run you up in the thousands, just for the first prototype. The DMC1 CNC machine sells from me for $3,000 assembled, and I machined the entire arm on a single weekend. With just this product alone, I could have paid off the entire machine with change. Not to mention, I hold about one-tenth the tolerance that this is quoted for. 0.12 millimeters versus 0.01 millimeters. My goal is to bring down these crazy expensive manufacturing barriers for small companies, hobbyists, researchers, or whatever you do. I was in this position for years when I was on my high school and even university robotics team where we needed parts all the time. We wanted to test a design, prototype something, make a special component, just anything, and we were so limited working on our student team budget. It was like my creativity was being handicapped, and that's what triggered me to want to build my own CNC. And then fast forward a few years and a few prototypes later, and here I am sharing an incredible finished product with you.
So I hope this video gives you further insight into what the DMC1 CNC can do. It's not a magic solve all your manufacturing problems machine, but it definitely has its place in a lower budget, high quality, small parts manufacturing scenarios. I'm going to have a lot more videos of different parts and different materials, including steel. So please subscribe and watch out for those, especially if you're thinking of buying a CNC machine. Remember to also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for a lot more behind the scenes and cool projects. And so you can contact us directly if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.